This looks good. Oh, it does have audio monitor. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is how to get started in Unity. Um, and uh, we're going to take these little chairs that we made and we're going to bring them into Unity and see how they do. Because really and honestly, that is our, um, <clears throat> that's really our test, is how our objects come into Unity. If we don't have, uh, you know, they can look great in Blender, but if they don't come into Unity nicely and the textures aren't there, then it doesn't matter, right? Because after all, our point here is that we are building a video game. So the first thing that you're going to do, and I do believe that this will work because I haven't opened Unity on this computer yet. You should have a Unity uh, shortcut on your desktop. If you don't, you can just go in here and go Unity um, and open it up. Now, there's a couple of weird things that's going to happen. The first thing is it's probably going to ask you to do this, which is sign into your Unity account. Um, yes, you have to have one. So you're going, and it's, and unfortunately enough, we haven't been able to figure out how to do it per computer and just have the account be the school's account. Um, it, it is by user right now, so that's a little frustrating. So what you're going to have to do, now I already have a Unity account, but you're going to have to go and create one. Um, <clears throat> And it's really not that big of a deal. And this is what you would have to do at home. So if any of you guys are really looking forward to doing this, um, you know, then you're going to have to go here and do this. And you're just going to have to get a, a name, a username, your email, and you're going to do that. You're going to create the account. And then once you're done, you can put your email in. And then your password. And they don't send you, I mean, and they don't send you anything really um, unless you want them to. I think that's my password. Let's see here. So I'm going to sign in. Yep, there we go. Now it's going to check the authorization. When you do this, okay, you need to choose the personal edition, obviously, because we, do, we didn't pay for this. Okay, and you wouldn't probably pay for it at home either unless you're really starting to make. You know, if you start making apps and stuff for money, like games for the iOS store or something, then you'd have to upgrade to the professional edition. But for right now, the personal edition is what we're using. And you're going to hit next again. And then you're going to say, I agree, because, of course, you read that whole thing. I know I did. Um, and uh, it says, thank you, with a little smiley face. Isn't that nice? They gave us an emoticon. So now we're going to hit Start Unity. Um, and you're going to want to create a project. Uh, now, there are example projects that you can download off of Unity's website. So that's something that maybe you might want to explore at home. Um, but we're just going to start with our, our project here. So we're just going to click New Project, and then we're going to change. So right now, it's a 3D project here. And we're just going to call this, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, Game Design Project. And then what I would like you to do is always include your last name in the project, if you would, please. Um, that is important because when I start grading these, I'm going to want to be able to keep them separate from each other. But a lot of times, I'll take them home to grade, so I'll copy them to my um, laptop. And it can get really confusing huh? uh, if they are not, if they're all the same name. right? So if you put your last name in there, that would be great. Then the second thing we need to really worry about here is the location. We don't want to put it in our documents file. The reason for that is because this will fill up your account pretty dramatically. Okay, um, and, and for some of you, you could probably do it without any problems. Others of you have PowerPoint presentations going back to first grade, and you haven't cleaned out your account in, well, forever. So you're probably going to be one of those people who would fill it up. And I know that two years ago, uh, we had some major problems with people filling their accounts uh, eventually. So the best thing for you to do is to use that Media Students folder that we gave you. So we're going to click the Documents. You're going to click those little three dots that are right there. Okay? <clears throat> and then what you're going to do, you're going to open this up a little bit. And you can click on Computer. And then you can go to your Media Staff, which is right there. Uh, or I mean, I'm going to go to media staff. You're going to go to media students. Okay, so media staff. Find your your graduation year. So let's go to media students just to kind of refresh that. So media students, find your graduation year, and then find your name. Okay, 
So I'm going to go to media staff. There I am, okay? And I'm just going to create, um, and, and right in the top, you can just select the folder, all right? And it's going to create a project folder for you. So I'm going to hit create project, and it's going to kind of go through its little settings here. And then there's our project. Now, really quickly, let's go into my account and you'll see that now there's a folder right here that says game design project Weiss Road and as I open that up we now have a whole new series of folders that Unity has created inside this project and the assets folder is going to be the one that we're going to be uh, primarily concerned with double click this is where you're going to put all your blender objects so when you make something, you can put it in the assets folder. Now, let's go back to Unity really quickly here for a second. It says there's a new version. You guys can't install new versions. You can't do updates, so don't even bother. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to say skip new version. If we decide to upgrade, we'll, we, we may do that in the future. But I think now that we started the class, we probably will not because we know this version works and we know it works well so we're not gonna you know do much um, <clears throat> so now we've got this and it looks it's really really different than uh, unity and we'll go over some of that later on but most importantly what I want to do is I want to call your attention to the folder down here it says project assets and you'll see assets is empty so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my folder <clears throat> and I have my uh, <clears throat> chair with the um, with the UV texture applied so let's go date modified with that wood texture I'm gonna take both of those together I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna copy them into my design project fo assets folder and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it chair and then I'm going to paste it. So now I've pasted the texture and my blend file right in together. Now, theoretically, let's cross our fingers, I should go into Unity. Mm, oh, and it's, you see this little green progress bar is going on down at the bottom here. It is, Im oh, see now, it's importing my chair texture. So <clears throat> you can see now, just by dragging it into the assets folder, Unity is always constantly watching that folder for new assets. And I should be able to double click, and then I can single click on the chair, and oops, I forgot to delete <coughs> the second chair from there. But you can see that actually, you can see the little chair there. You can see that it's there, and it's got the texture on it, which is really cool. Um, <coughs> and I can go through here, and I can scroll into the inspector, and I can um, see a lot of different stats about that. Uh, colliders, all sorts of fun stuff that we're going to play with later on. But the most important thing is right now um, that you can see that your model is there. And now here's what's really cool. So I'm going to go uh, outside of Unity here and I'm going to get back into my, um, my Blender object. Let's go default. And uh, I had turned off this other cube here. Okay? So we can turn it back on again and you can see it. Um, and I would forgotten all about it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to delete it. And now I've got all the other cube items are there, so let's just delete all those. Ah! Okay, didn't want to delete the other chair. That's that one. Whoops. So yeah, I selected, uh, I selected all of them by accident. There we go. So now I've got my original chair just sitting there right in the center. And um, I save. Quit out of Blender. Go back to Unity. It's going to think for a second here. It's going to re-import my object um, nice and easily. There we go. Whoops. Oh, it's thinking takes a little bit of uh, time here and now you notice that the chair is sideways um, which is 
rather interesting, but that is because in Blender, one of the things you're going to notice is your axes are flipped. Um, X and Z are your horizontal axis, and Y is your vertical axis. So what I'll probably want to do is rotate this so that it's up on the Y axis, so I can um, go back into um, Blender, take my chair, <coughs> Take the rotate tool, okay, and I want to rotate it so that it's up on the Y axis. So I'm going to left click, drag that, and then hold the control key down so that it's 90 degrees. Save. There we go. Go back in the Unity. It's going to take a second here, and it should be, hopefully it's not going to be upside down, but I think I did it right. Mmm, interesting. Apparently not. Oh, I really expected it to be correct, but it's not. So anyway, we'll have to play with that, but theoretically it should have been fine. Um, <clears throat> we'll have to look at that. But, uh, and then you can literally just drag it right into your objects there, and you can start to see exactly how, um, how it's looking. So, and, and I can see that it's got the texture on it the way I want it to. It's laying down its side, on its side, so I don't like that. But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll deal with that later, so i get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> but that's basically how you import a, a Blender object straight into Unity, okay? The most important thing is you've got to make your Blender, uh, or your Unity project, and you may need to make sure you put it in the Media Students folder. That's going to give you basically unlimited amount of data, um, you know, within reason, of course. Um, <clears throat> but we've got a lot more space on there than we do in your normal accounts. Okay? And then with, with, uh, with Unity, um, <clears throat> you can just make, you can make, we'll talk about scenes and stuff like that. But essentially, you just save the project and you quit out of it. No, oh, yeah, save, whatever. Oh, this is the, f wait, what did it, I didn't, you know what, I didn't listen, I didn't look at what it said. <laughs> it's horrible. The scene untitled, okay, so we do have a, oh, so we, you want to save the scene that you've got, go ahead, and we'll just call this scene one. Okay, for now, and there you go. So that's basically it, that's importing something into Unity. It's actually ridiculously simple. But the important thing to realize is that you're going to have a game design uh, folder, and inside that folder you'll have assets, library, project settings, and so on and so forth, and your objects go in here. Now, what I really recommend is also this would be a gigantic, huge, ridiculous mess if you just copy and paste everything in there. So every object that you put in there, I would put into a folder, okay? So the chair... I put it into, I made a new folder just for the chair and its texture. Um, you should have basically a folder for every single thing. In fact, you might, as we get further along, we might even reorganize them a little bit more so by creating folders, you know, for, <coughs> uh, you know, scene one versus scene two, because you're going to have two levels in your game. Um, or environmental versus character objects, or, you know, whatever, to kind of help organize the objects a little bit and of course unity kind of links it all together it is really 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 smart it's a great great application and i love it love it love it any questions about this little overview okay it's pretty simple the real big thing to remember is number one you have to authorize and get an account for unity it doesn't matter it can be a bogus email i really don't care neither do they um, <clears throat> number two, when you type in the make that password, make sure you check remember me so you don't have to be renewing, you know, putting that password in every time. Three, make sure you're putting the project in the media share or st media students folder that you've been given. And four, when you import things like your chair and that, so on and so forth, make sure you create a new folder for that object so that that object and its textures are separated from everything else or else what's going to happen is you're going to have like a whole bunch of textures and blender files in here that are it's going to be ridiculous okay especially since blender since notice i changed it i saved it 
it's now got this blend.1 file here. We, we talked about what that is. That's Blender's way of giving you an undo, basically an old version of its, of its file. That's cool, but as you do this, you're now like doubling the number of files that you have uh, as you get two or three of these, and then all of a sudden it just becomes a great big disaster. Okay, so we want to um, we want to be mindful of that and uh, and make sure that we are being organized because I guarantee for those of you who are not naturally organized with your computer files and that sort of a thing, this will come bite and back and bite you in the butt if you're not. Okay, it's really really important. You will be sorry that you did not pay attention and listen to my directions. I, I mean it because it will be one of those things that all of a sudden. And here's the thing, if you come and ask me for help and I walk over and your files are an absolute mess, I'll try and help you, but there's no guarantee that I can figure out what you've done. You know what I mean? Like, especially if you've got things in like 15 different places or everything in one place, I may not be able to help you because you haven't organized your stuff. And those of you who have had me in class before, you may have seen that, where I'll walk in to try and help a student and I'll walk into something and I'll just be like, I cannot help you until you get this organized because I don't know what's what and I can't set, spend 20 minutes trying to figure out where your files are. Okay, that's really important. Everybody got it? Okay. Well, that's that. Hopefully, it will be very easy to do.